Hello beautiful souls, it's Lila here, your guide to cosmic yoga. Today we're going to be diving deep into Scorpio's new moon yoga sequence. But before we get started on this transformative journey, you know the drill. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. For the practice today, we're going to be focusing on our root chakra as well as our third eye chakra. So you're going to want to grab your mat, bolster, and strap, as well as some blocks possibly in a blanket if you have them. Once you are all set in your sacred space, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to begin in tabletop on our mat hands underneath the shoulder, shoulder width apart, knees underneath the hips, hips width apart. And we're going to begin to circle the hips, just drawing the hips back towards the feet and then towards the left, up towards the shoulders, towards the right, back towards the feet. And you can continue in that direction for a little bit. And then we'll reverse the circle in the opposite direction. Wonderful, and we'll go ahead and move into Cat-Cow, rounding the spine towards the ceiling as we exhale, tucking the tailbone under, chin towards the chest, and then allowing the abdomen to fall towards the floor, head raises, tailbone, tailbone raises towards the ceiling. And one more time, spinal flexion towards the ceiling, tucking the tailbone, and then letting the heart drop towards the floor, head raises, tailbone raises. Beautiful. And then we're going to go into one-handed tiger pose. We're just going to bring the left foot towards the ceiling and reach around with the right hand we're going to hold on to the front of that ankle, really grounding into that right knee and left hand. Great. We can go ahead and relax up there, back to the floor in tabletop, and then make a few hip circles just to reset that spine, get that movement through our body, and then go into cat-cow, flexion of the spine towards the ceiling, head and tailbone tuck towards the floor and center body, and then relaxing that, opening up, head raises, tailbone raises, and then returning to neutral and going into the one-handed tiger pose on the right. We're gonna go ahead and raise that right foot up towards the ceiling and bring the left hand to reach around that right ankle. Wonderful. You can go ahead and replace Place the hand back down to the mat, knees underneath the hips, and circle the hips in one direction and the other. And the cat cow. Wonderful. And then we're going to sink our hips back over our feet, our heels, and you can keep the toes together, knees can widen here, hands are going to walk forward completely. If you need to, you can use a block for your forehead just to rest on. You can even use a bolster for your torso to rest on. We're going to be here for a little bit. so. Make sure your knees are comfortable, hips, everything just feels very comfortable to be able to relax and surrender in this pose.
You can slowly begin to press your hands into the mat, walk yourself up. Then we're gonna come uh, to lay on our abdomen on the floor. And we're gonna place our forearms in front of us for our face to rest on one side. And our face can rest on top of our forearms. Legs are side by side, extended fully along the mat. And then just surrendering. Bringing awareness to our breath, how our body feels. Giving ourselves this time to rest. And then we'll go ahead and place our hands underneath our shoulders. Elbows are by our rib cage. Again, legs are side by side. We're gonna look forward and take a full breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna press our hands into the mat. Hips are grounded into the mat as well. And shoulders are down and away from the ears. Elbows by the rib cage once again. Chest shining forward in Cobra. Beautiful. And you can go ahead and let that upper body come back to the mat. And then we're going to bend the legs, wrap our hands around the front of the ankles, take a full breath in, looking forward again. And on the exhale, raise the legs up towards the ceiling, upper body raises as well. And bow. And you can go ahead and relax the legs on down, upper body down, going back into crocodile. Forms rest forward on top of each other with your face resting on top. And then we're gonna bring our hands underneath the shoulders, legs are side by side, full breath in, press into the palms, keeping the elbows by the rib cage and cobra, looking forward. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Hips grounded into the mat. Wonderful, and you can relax the upper body down, bend the legs, wrap the hands around the front of the ankles, full breath in, and exhale, raising the legs and upper body into bow. Wonderful, and you can go ahead and relax the legs on down, hands on down. I'm gonna lift the hips, press the hands into the mat, Straightening the legs, hips go up towards the ceiling into downward dog. We can bring the eye gaze back towards the feet, pedal out the feet just a little bit, one foot and then the other. Then we're going to take that left leg up towards the ceiling, keeping the pressure in both hands even. And keeping the eye gaze towards the foot that's on the floor. Wonderful. And you can go ahead and relax, relax that left leg on down. Walk it forward to meet the hands. And forward fold. You can hold on to the elbows. Allow gravity to help assist this stretch. And then we're going to slowly roll on up. Vertebrae. Vertebrae. We're going to widen the stance of the feet outside of hip distance apart. 
Raise the arms up to be parallel with the floor in five-pointed star, palms facing down towards the mat. And now we're gonna externally rotate the feet just a little bit, bringing the hands to heart center and then sink the hips. We want to make sure there's enough space between the feet so that the knees are over the ankles and not over the toes. Wonderful, and you can go ahead, press the legs straight completely, bring the feet back together. Arms are going to go overhead, full breath in, interlace the fingers, palms open towards the ceiling, full breath in, exhale. Press up onto the toes into palm tree. Full breath in. And then exhale, releasing the heels back down towards the floor. Beautiful. Release the fingers. Full breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the mat. Walk the feet back into downward dog. And then we're gonna go ahead, raise that right leg up towards the ceiling. Full breath in, and exhale, releasing that right leg back down towards the mat. We're gonna walk the feet up towards the hands into forward folds. Again, you can hold on to the elbows if you like for a little bit here, allowing gravity to help. And then we're gonna roll on up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Widen the stance between the feet. They're still parallel to each other. Arms go up. So that's parallel to the floor. Palms facing the floor into five-pointed star. And then we're going to externally rotate the toes just a little bit. Placing the hands, the palms at the heart center and bending into the knees. Again, checking in to see where the position is of those knees so that they're over the ankles and not the toes. Wonderful, go ahead, straighten the legs, bring the feet back together, arms overhead, interlace the fingers, open the palms towards the ceiling, full breath in. Exhale, raise onto the toes, full breath in. Exhale, resting the heels back to the floor, releasing the hands down by the side. We'll go into forward fold, back into downward dog, walking the feet back, full breath in, raising the left leg up towards the ceiling, bringing it back down towards the floor, walking the feet towards the hands, Holding on to the elbows or just placing the hands on the mat. Slowly rolling on up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Grounding into the right leg, we're gonna bring the bottom of the left leg along the inside of the right leg into tree. Hands can go to heart center. We're gonna release that leg back on down, ground this time into the left foot. Bend the right leg, bringing that knee to hip distance and fully extend that right foot out in front of us along with the right hand holding onto the big toe. Left hand can be by the left hip. And we'll go ahead, release that leg slowly back on down. Full breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, bend into the knees, raising that left leg over the right leg, right arm over the left into eagle. Beautiful, you can stand up straight, release that bind. Ground into the left foot. Bend that right leg, hold on to the inside of that ankle. The left arm goes up, extending. 
completely into King Dancer. Beautiful. You can relax, allow your body to come back to mountain pose, arms down by the side. Full breath in, all the way. Bring the upper body down into forward fold. Walking the feet back into downward dog. Full breath in. Exhale, raising that right leg up towards the ceiling to one-legged dog. And then lowering that right leg back on down, walking the feet forward into forward fold. And then slowly rolling on up, going into tree on the right, left foot fully grounded, bringing the bottom of the right foot to the inside of the left leg, hands the heart center. And you can release that right leg back on down, really grounding into the right foot, bending at the left knee, fully extend that left leg out, hold on to the big toe, grounding completely into that right leg. Beautiful. Returning that left leg back to the ground, full breath in, arms overhead, sink the hips back, bringing the right leg over the top of the left and the left over the top of the right hand and eagle. Beautiful, and you can go ahead and Stand back up straight, bring the arms overhead, full breath in, exhale. Allowing the arms to rest here, relax just a little bit before going into King Dancer. On the left, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we are completely uh, grounded into that right leg. Bend the left leg, reach the left hand around the inside of that ankle. Right arm comes up, full breath in, exhale. Really extending that left knee behind us and that right arm up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. And you can relax that back on down. Arms come down by the side. Full breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Bringing ourselves back into tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, hips distance apart. And we're gonna bring the left knee towards the left wrist, left ankle behind the right wrist, right leg straight behind, relaxing. On the floor, you can use a block underneath your left hip here if you like. You can walk your hands forward. You can rest your head on the mat or on top of your forearms if you like. We're gonna be here for a little bit, so make sure you're comfortable using any props necessary to make yourself that much more comfortable. Push ourselves up and swing that right leg around the front, keeping that left leg bent how it is. The bottom of the foot comes to the inside of that right leg. Flex that right foot 
Arms up, full breath in, exhale, forward fold over that right knee. If you like, you can use a strap around the bottom of the foot and hold on to the edges. Or if your flexibility allows for today, you can rest your forearms on the sides of the calves, interlacing the fingers underneath the foot. You can slowly roll on up and extend the left leg to meet the right. Readjust your hips however necessary so that they feel about even set. If you like, you can also use your strap here. We're gonna take a full breath in, exhale, allowing our straight spine to come forward over our legs, holding on to the outside of the feet are flexed and then you can allow gravity to help you relax here And then you can slowly roll on up. We're going to bring our legs behind us, going back in to tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips. We're going to do cat-cow. Full breath in. Allowing the heart to just melt towards the floor, head and tailbone rises towards the ceiling. Exhaling, rounding the spine, pushing the hands and knees into the mat, tucking the chin towards the chest and tailbone under. And returning to neutral position. We're gonna bring that right knee behind that right wrist, left ankle behind the left wrist. Really extending that left leg straight behind, allowing the top of the foot to rest on the mat. Kind of if you like to use a block, you can underneath that right hip. Whatever props you need to make yourself as comfortable in this position, then you can walk your hands forward. You can rest your head on top of your forearms. Or you can just keep your Arms straight, planted onto the mat. Push ourselves on up, 
bringing that left leg around the front, keeping that right leg bent how it is onto the inside of that left thigh. Arms come up, full breath in, exhale, folding forward over the top of that left leg, holding on to the sides of the foot. Maybe you interlace your fingers. Maybe you use a strap here. Maybe your forearms come down around your calves. slowly and extend that right leg alongside the left maybe rocking on the hips just a little bit to get the hips even and back flexing the feet towards us full breath in and exhale folding over the legs holding on to the outside of the feet or the strap And then we'll slowly roll on up and come to lay on our backs completely. We're gonna have both legs resting side by side to begin. <sighs> Taking a few seconds here just to feel our bodies on the mat. And then we're going to bring our left knee up and over our hips alongside our rib cage and hold on with our left hand to the outside of the left foot as the bottom of the left foot shines towards the ceiling. The right leg is completely grounded. Right hip is grounded. We're not rolling onto the left hip. Really want to be even along that low back, sacrum and hips. And the right hand can just be resting alongside the body on the mat. You can tuck your chin towards your chest just a little bit if that feels good for your neck to release. And we're gonna Relax that leg back on down alongside the right. Rock the ankles from side to side. And then we're gonna bring the right knee up towards the hips and the rib cage and the bottom of the foot towards the ceiling. Holding on to the outside edge of the right foot. Shining the bottom of the foot towards the ceiling.
Again, keeping in mind, left leg is completely grounded into the mat. Hips are even. And then we'll go ahead and release that right leg on down. We can rock the ankles from side to side, rock the hips. Taking a full breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring up both knees up and over the hips towards the rib cage. And then widening that space between the ankles as the bottom of the feet shine towards the ceiling, holding on to the outside of the feet and happy baby. Maybe you rock from one side to the other, giving the back a massage here. And then maybe you pull just a little bit, bringing the knees a little further to the outside of your rib cage and closer to your mat. Maybe tucking that chin towards the chest. Beautiful. And you can go ahead and slowly release the feet lowering the legs on down we're gonna grab our bolster for supported bridge we're gonna bend our legs lift the hips up towards the ceiling grab the bolster slide it underneath the hips and then slowly allow our, our hips to meet the bolster straightening the legs if you like or you can keep them bent here Arms are out by the side, or maybe you want them over your head. Arms can be cactus, bent, whatever feels good for you here. And we're gonna bend the legs if they aren't already. Press the hips towards the ceiling, pressing the feet into the mat and sliding that bolster out from under the hips and returning 
the hips back to the mat. We can bring the knees in towards the chest, wrapping the forms around the front of the shins or just the hands on the outside of the knees. Maybe rocking from side to side. Maybe tucking that chin towards the chest. And relaxing the head back on down towards the mat. Release the legs, letting them straighten onto the mat. Arms can rest by your side. Maybe grabbing a blanket if you like as we take our resting Shavasana. Thanks for joining me for this cosmic journey. I hope you feel more connected to your inner Scorpio energy and embrace transformation. Remember to like this video, share it with your fellow Scorpios, and subscribe to the channel for more cosmic yoga adventures. And until we meet again, keep shining your Scorpio light. Namaste.